the Battle of Sangshak took place in Manipur in the forested and mountainous frontier area between India and Burma, from 20 March to 26 March 1944. The Japanese drove a parachute brigade from the British Indian Army from its positions with heavy casualties despite numeric superiority in favor of the British, but suffered heavy casualties themselves and the delay imposed by the battle allowed British and Indian reinforcements to reach the vital position at Kohama before the Japanese. Background In March 1944, the Japanese launched Operation Yugo, a major invasion of India. While most of the Japanese 15th Army attacked 4th Indian Corps at Imphal, the Japanese 31st Division advanced on Kohama to cut the main road on which the troops at Imphal depended for supply. The Japanese division advanced over a wide front. It was divided into left, center and right assault forces. The left assault force consisted of two battalions of the Japanese 58 Regiment, with the regimental headquarters and detachments from the division's supporting arms. The regiment's commander was Colonel Uta Tafuku Naga, but the force was accompanied by the division's infantry group commander, Major General Shige Saburo Miyazaki, who was the senior officer. On 18 March, the force was approaching the village of Ukral, about 25 miles northeast of Imphal and 8 miles north of Sangshak. British Dispositions Early in 1944, the 49th Indian Infantry Brigade of the 23rd Indian Infantry Division had been stationed at Sangshak to guard the road from Tanhe on the Chindwin River to Imphal. As the Japanese offensive began, the Japanese surrounded the 17th Indian Infantry Division at Tidham, south of Imphal. Lieutenant General Geoffrey Schoons, the commander of 4th Corps, was forced to send 23rd Division to help the 17th Division break out of encirclement. At the time, the 50th Indian Parachute Brigade were conducting advanced jungle training in the Kohima area. The brigade consisted of 152 and 153 parachute battalions, with a machine gun company, a mountain artillery battery and other supporting arms. Its commander was Brigadier Maxwell Hope Thompson. Even before the Japanese attack opened, they had received preliminary orders to move to Sangshak. Because of shortage of transport, they required four days to arrive. They took under command the 4th Battalion, 5th Maratha Light Infantry, which had been part of 49th Brigade, and two companies of the Nepalese Kalabahada Regiment. The battle Preliminaries The 50th Brigade initially deployed over a large area, with outposts 8 miles east of Sangshak and the machine gun company in Ukral. On 19 March, the Japanese overran an isolated company deployed on a hill known as Point 7378. The company was reduced to 20 men, urged by his second-in-command that the brigade risked defeat in detail if it remained strung out as isolated posts. Hope Thompson ordered his forces to concentrate. Most of the force initially concentrated at Sheldon's Corner, eight miles east of Sangshak on 21 March, but that afternoon, Hope Thompson pulled them back, first to Kidney Camp four miles to the west, and then to Sangshak itself, where they took up a defensive position on a hill just east of the village, with an American missionary church at its north end. The position measured only 800 yards by 400 yards, and had no fresh water. Hard rock was found only three feet below the soil, so only shallow trenches could be dug. The two battalion of the Japanese 58th Infantry Regiment had meanwhile captured Ukral from 50th Brigade's machine gun company. Major General Miyazaki was present with the battalion. He was aware that there was a British brigade at Sangshak. Although Sangshak was in the sector assigned to 31st Division's neighboring formation, the Japanese 15th Division, Miyazaki knew that this formation was lagging behind his force. He therefore decided to clear the British from Sangshak to prevent him interfering with his advance. Fighting at Sangshak, the Japanese battalion attacked Sangshak from the north on the night of the 22nd of March. 
Miyazaki was prepared to wait for his regimental guns and some attached mountain guns to arrive to support the attack, but the battalion commander attacked hastily without artillery support. They suffered heavily from British artillery and mortar fire. One of the Japanese officers killed in the parachute brigade's positions was found to be carrying vital maps and documents, which contained all of 31st Division's plans. Brigadier Hope Thompson sent two copies of the documents through the encircling Japanese to 4th Corps HQ in Imphal. These were vital to IV Corps and 14th Army's response to the Japanese attack on Kohama. The next day, Allied aircraft tried to drop supplies to the 50th Brigade, but the brigade's position was so small that many of the supplies went to the Japanese. The Gurkhas of 152 Parachute Battalion attacked to recover them, supported by fighters which had escorted the transport aircraft. They were beaten back but the Japanese also suffered heavy casualties. On 24 March, the Japanese were reinforced by the 3 Battalion of the 58th Regiment, accompanied by the Regimental Commander and Miyazaki. They attacked immediately, but they too were repulsed. The 3 Battalion of the Japanese 60 Regiment, belonging to the 15th Division, also began attacking the defended position from the east on 25 March. Although their commander insisted that his officers properly reconnoitre the objective and plan their approach in contrast to 58th Regiment's hasty tactics, his infantry became lost trying to approach the position at night. During the following day, the two attached mountain guns destroyed many of the defenders' shallow trenches. On 26 March, Fukushima's infantry of the 60 Regiment again became lost trying to attack at night and were caught in the open at dawn. The Japanese planned a last all-out assault on 27 March. By that date, however, the defenders were exhausted and desperately short of water. There were 300 wounded in the position, and the smell of decomposing bodies was unbearable. At 6 p.m., Hope Thompson received orders to withdraw. His brigade moved out under cover of darkness. Although several men were captured by another battalion of the Japanese 60 Regiment which had cut the track from Sangshak to Lytton. Aftermath and results the 50th Indian Parachute Brigade had suffered 652 casualties. The Japanese reported capturing 100 prisoners, most of whom were wounded. The Japanese also captured plenty of airdropped supplies which had missed the defenders at Sangshak, and other equipment including heavy weapons, vehicles and wirelesses. Japanese casualties were also heavy. The 2 Battalion, 58th Regiment was the hardest hit unit, with more than 400 casualties. However, the prolonged battle had also delayed Miyazaki's advance on Kohama by a week. His left assault force had the shortest and easiest route to Kohama. They arrived at the vital Kohama Ridge only on April 3, by which time Allied reinforcements had also reached the area. In the ensuing Battle of Kohama, the Japanese failed to capture the entire ridge, and were eventually forced to retreat by British counter-attacks and shortage of food.